My name is Ruthie, and today I am going to be showing you the next step of getting to know your featherweight. I am going to be on page 9 of my Singer Featherweight Manual. I am going to be showing you how to correctly use your bobbin case. We just finished learning how to wind a bobbin. Now I'm going to show you how to put it in your bobbin case. You want to make sure that your thread is going this way, which is counterclockwise. Now we're going to put it in the bobbin case. And there's a little slot right here that you're going to want to put your thread through. And it'll go through this spring in this little notch. Good job, Ruthie. Does it snap in place like that, kind of? Yes. OK. So after you pull the thread through the bobbin case spring, you're going to want to pull on the thread to make sure that the bobbin is spinning correctly. In the bobbin case, the holes on the bobbin will be going counterclockwise. Now I will show you how to put the bobbin case in the machine. You're going to want to turn the bobbin case around, and you're going to want to make sure that the bobbin thread is draping in front of the bobbin case. Then you're going to want to grip the bobbin case with your thumb and your middle finger and you're going to want to pull on the latch with your index finger. And you don't want to pull the latch out too far or you will break it. Then I'm going to put it in the machine. And you're going to want to make sure that it's in there all the way. So does that latch, will it spring back when you put it on? The key on the machine, when you put the bobbin case on the machine? Yes. Okay. So how does that latch work? Does it pull out? So the latch on the bobbin case is meant to hold the bobbin in the bobbin case, but when you let go of the latch, the bobbin will fall out. So when you're putting it on the machine, if you hold the latch, if you pull the latch out, it will make it'll let you put the bobbin case in with the bobbin without the bobbin falling out. Oh, okay. So you use the latch to pull it on and off. Yes. Okay. So there's kind of a two-step process there with your thumb. It kind of pushes it in and then it clicks. Mhm. Mm okay. All right. Well, we'll see you next time on getting to know your featherweight and Ruthie will show us the next step.